now that students are back in school, families are back to their normal routines. And this morning we're checking out some really easy ways to make meals using only one pot. Uh, they take 10 minutes to prepare oh, and then you let them sit, sit there for like four days and stuff. No, it's not that four long. Days. I think it is. Uh, so here in the apt soup pot, with ideas for slow cooker meals is nutrition expert Ashley Pettit. So I joke, but I just, I wanted to get into this realm, but I'm afraid to like leave a giant thing for like four, Don't be 14 afraid. hours. Don't be afraid. And it's, it's not, not 14, 14 hours. hours. How many hours Honestly, is it? Honestly, I like the switch off because I'll do this during the day, whereas most people probably want to do this overnight. Okay. Um, so six to eight hours, but it has a warming function. It actually stops cooking it at a high temperature and just keeps it warm enough where it's sanitary and healthy for you um, okay. to wake up in the morning and have it ready. So I know people you, love, 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 like I really want to learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the, the most negative connotation I think about slow cookers is only in the winter and it's only for comfort oh. food. Um, but like this week, I'm going out of town on Saturday. I am crazy. I bought four proteins. I bought mm -hmm. my favorite sauces. I literally cut a couple vegetables and each meal was less than 10 minute prep. Just threw it in there? And okay. then threw it in there and by the time oh. I came back from my meetings, it was ready for my daughter and I and I was just so happy. Okay. So, and all these recipes are, are really, really simple because I like to make sauces from scratch. You guys know how holistic yeah. and crazy I am. But I found Sanjay, and I am gluten free too, so I am obsessed with their sauces. Not only are they non GMO, they have such high flavor profiles, they're gluten free. They are the tastiest things ever, and most people know them for their tamari, mm -hmm. yeah, but like Gino's. they're orange sauce. Huh. They're Mongolian sauce. I They've also this. got a teriyaki, which I made this pulled pork with a lime honey sauce, which is homemade. It's a couple ingredients, but the alternative is to use a teriyaki because you still get the sweetness. Yeah, and my kids, you got know, it. kids love teriyaki. So, so huh. you're you're also saying even though you prefer overnight, you're also saying yes. you could do it in the morning and then you can and, and then have leave it. For so, dinner. how does this work? So the best thing about a slow cooker is essentially all you're doing, some meats you have to brown, and on the blog with these recipes you'll see that, um, but you just put it in, put the sauce on top, cover it, and start it. That's it. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to do anything with it. It is so, so easy. Um, when I'm doing meats, especially things like beef, I'll do the low, so it'll be four hours on low, okay. um, because with beef you don't want to over. Right, because then it gets tough. Yeah, and, and same thing with pork, which I have in there, pulled pork. But with chicken, I'll do it on high. With ground turkey, I make a bolognese sauce in there, mm -hmm. and I'll do that on high because it has bacon and turkey and lots of fats. So essentially, slow cookers, they come with directions. It's really no nonsense. Honestly, you could YouTube it. It's so easy. It's so pretty. Wait, by the way, um, uh, I forgot. What about the vegetables? So when I put the vegetables in when I do things that are thicker, like broccoli, potatoes, carrots. Mm -hmm. um, heavy, starchy vegetables are very good in there. Otherwise, if it's like asparagus or a water-based vegetable, I'll put them in after. I Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, okay. I'll put them in after. So with the chicken, you just oh. put a cut up chicken? I put just full chicken breasts okay. because then I'll either shred it if I feel like it or I'll chop it later. Mm -hmm. So I put the chicken, I put sesame seeds, I put the Sanjay um, orange sauce, and then I put a couple scallions in there to grill, but I kept fresh scallions on the side too. To garnish. That's it. Got it. Done. Yeah. Then I have this beef, which is a spicy curry sauce. So I did coconut milk. I did onion and bell peppers, which again are heavier vegetables, so you can put them in the slow cooker. And I put a little bit of the tamari sauce, which by the way, you just talked about how you use mm -hmm. this. I love this stuff. I love that it's gluten free, but the thing that people don't realize is without the wheat in it, which is great also, right, makes it gluten free, but it has a deeper, richer flavor. Agreed. Because it's soy darker sauces. than other soy sauces. Yeah. What kind of beef did you use so for this? So I actually used flank steak. Okay. Um, flank or skirt is generally going to be less marbled, so less fat. Um, but again, that means don't cook it for as long because the more fat it has, it'll actually keep it juicier, but it, you don't want it to dry out. Okay. And the wow. vegetarian option? And then the vegetarian option is chickpeas, which you could cook forever, essentially. Oh. But I use the Mongolian sauce because I love that flavor so much, mm -hmm. especially with broccoli. So with the chickpeas and the broccoli and a couple fresh scallions on top, you're going to be so full. Yummy. It is such a filling meal. This is my favorite lunch. That looks and, that's, and it looks low calorie too. It is, and some of these sauces, like people may say, they are authentic Asian flavors, and they may think their kids won't like them, or none, nothing is overly spicy, nothing is overly mm -hmm. crazy. I, I feel like they're just very natural, very tasty sauces. And yeah. the, what so, section, where do we find the Sanjay sauce? You can find them in the what? international section international of section. most grocery okay. stores. Okay. Um, so, and I'll have information about where to find them on the blog, because okay. again, I'm obsessed. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you will be too. Fire up your slow cooker, and if you want more fitness and nutritional mm. information, Check out AshleyPettitLiving.com. Always good to see you. I'm doing good it. Good to see you guys too. I'm getting one. Okay, I'm going to plug it, mine in. <laughs>